Hi everybody, I'm Terry. Today I am going to finally plant my Rose Creek abelia in the ground. So today I'm actually letting you know that it is okay to have your plant in a container um, and move it around, you know, wherever you want to, um, you know, just trying out in different spots. Like I've had it like to the left of me here. I've had it uh, recently in the backyard, but um, for some reason they just didn't seem to be um, the right location for whatever reason until recently I noticed that this area here was um, was developing really nicely. I like the courtyard kind of vibe that it's giving me right now and it's um, getting um, pretty full um, or looking pretty full and lush. So then I thought that um, having the ability here would be great because um, I like seeing pollinators around here and I'm always looking in this area or towards this area either when I'm sitting on the porch or when I'm inside. This is my view so I'm always I'm looking in this section a lot and I love seeing um, you know the butterflies, the bees um, on my Texas sage here, um, and then also on the Duranta erecta um, to the right of me. And then I thought, you know, it's gonna look really nice to have that abelia here because it attracts butterflies and um, bumblebees. So. You know what? I figure that I would go ahead and um, go ahead and plant it in the ground and make this its forever home. Right now, I do know that, let's look back, I have the Japanese maple here, um, which is going to get bigger, and then also uh, Camellia japonica um, right back there. But they're going to take longer to establish and get bigger. So, in the meantime, that abelia would do really well over here it's going to attract um, the pollinators and it's going to light up this space and i know that this does not look good right now this is my dusty miller um, they're struggling right now because of the heat um, i'm going to um, trim it back or pull them out i haven't um, really decided it yet but um I know, sorry, it's, a, it's an eyesore right now. Let's go ahead and put the abelia in the ground. I've already dug a hole. It's gonna be raining again today, so I don't think I need to water it in really good. The soil, and plus the soil is already um, wet. Um, I've already put in some plant tone there to help with the root growth. And, and if you didn't know, I, I live in zone 7B. Um, with mostly clay soil so I'm going to plant um, any plant that I have here um, maybe an inch uh, usually an inch or two above ground level so that way the roots don't the root bulb um, doesn't get um, doesn't get flooded with water so to speak and drown the, the root bulb and kill it so that's what we're going to do. So I guess I'm gonna let you watch me put it in the ground. know it got, it got picked up the camera I had to reposition it again um, to a better um, angle and it's starting to rain again um, so a, 
Abelias are low maintenance. It's very hardy. It's drought tolerant. So I know from the last, from since I started, I bought it as a clearance plant and it was, it didn't look too good. But it bounced back really well the next year and you can see it's been doing good ever since. So I'm not too worried about it. Um, we're gonna get some rain, so that's gonna water it in really good. So. We're gonna check one more time. Pretty good. I'll just have to clean it to make it look better. So excited to have this plant finally planted here. All done, and I just love how that Rose Creek Abelia look with all the other plants. And this is my view from the house. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching and I will talk to you in my next video. Bye.